Hello everyone, welcome to Word Power from English Plus Podcast. I'm Danny, your host on this journey through the magic of words. Today we're delving into a word that's as uplifting as it is profound. Euphoria. Let's embark on a journey to understand and experience the sheer joy and exhilaration that this word encapsulates. Euphoria. It's more than happiness. It's an intense, often overwhelming state of joy and well-being. The word itself seems to soar, capturing those peak moments of sheer delight and profound happiness. It's the feeling that fills your chest when you hear great news, the rush of triumph in a moment of success, or the overwhelming joy at a heartfelt reunion. Euphoria isn't just an emotion. It's an experience that elevates us, if only temporarily, above the ordinary planes of everyday life. Consider Jessica's story, who experienced euphoria when she reached the summit of a mountain after a grueling climb. Or think about Alex, whose euphoric moment came with the birth of his first child. These stories aren't just about happiness. They're about life-changing moments of overwhelming joy that stay etched in our memories forever. In our lives, Euphoria can be a powerful force. It's those moments of unbridled joy that remind us of the beauty and potential of life. Euphoria can be a reward, a fleeting glimpse into a state of perfect happiness and a reminder of what it feels like to be truly alive. And now, my friends, as we've explored the uplifting world of euphoria, let's prepare to delve into how this exuberant word finds its way into various contexts. How do we use euphoria in our conversations and stories to describe those unparalleled moments of joy? It's coming next, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Welcome back to the second part of our Word Power episode on euphoria. I'm your host, Danny. In the first part, we dived into the emotional depths of euphoria. Now, let's explore the different meanings of this vibrant word and how it's used in our daily language. While euphoria is predominantly known as an intense feeling of joy and well-being, its use extends beyond just emotional expression. In the realm of medicine, for example, euphoria can describe a state of false well-being, sometimes experienced under the influence of drugs or medication. For example, the patient experienced a temporary euphoria after taking the pain medication. In psychology, euphoria is often discussed in the context of mood swings or as a symptom in certain mental health conditions. However, in everyday language, we use euphoria to express moments of great happiness and triumph. Like when someone says, winning the championship brought a sense of euphoria to the team. And now let's look at how euphoria partners with other words. A common collocation is sense of euphoria. For instance, we can say, graduating from college gave her a profound sense of euphoria. This phrase often describes a deep, satisfying joy. Another frequent pairing is wave of euphoria, which captures the sudden, overwhelming nature of this joy. As in, a wave of euphoria washed over him when he heard the news. Then there is experienced euphoria, which we use to describe the act of feeling this intense joy. For example, she experienced euphoria when she saw her artwork displayed in the gallery. And now, my friends, as we conclude our exploration of euphoria, I hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for this word's power to capture our highest highs. If you've enjoyed this journey through language, please follow and share English Plus Podcast with your friends and family. And for those who wish to support us even further, consider visiting our Patreon link in the description. Your support helps us continue uncovering the fascinating world of words. And by becoming a premium member on our Patreon, you'll unlock access to a lot of content that we share exclusively with our patrons. Don't miss this opportunity. It's definitely a win-win. And now, let me thank you, my friends, for listening, for your time, and for your passion for language. Until next time, may you find moments of euphoria in your everyday life.